My children and I have severe asthma. We have had serious asthma attacks that have required urgent life-saving medical treatment. This goes beyond the use of an inhaler and sometimes means multiple injections and supplementary oxygen and a lot of medicalization. In this video, my kids are going to walk you through what it feels like to have an asthma attack, how to treat an asthma attack with Ventolin, and they'll alert you to some other things that you really need to know in terms of the children's patient experience of living with severe asthma. Falcon is six and Koro is nine. Hi guys, I'm taking off. I'm Falcon, this is Koro, my Hi. big brother. Today we're gonna talk about our health. So today we're going to show you that with, this is our inhaler. So when we're like coughing and stuff, we'll use this to like help us. Like, so I can remember we do six, like two puffs, six breaths, and that's how we help us. Go that's how it. many you have. Yeah. But Falcon has more puffs, doesn't he? He has Hi, six puffs. Hi, my name's puffs. Falcon. That was Crew, and today we're going to teach you about life. Life insurance. So this one is the important one for Koru. And the important one for me is this one. You can see the blue one. So I need nine breaths, I think. Wait, is it nine? Six. Six, six breaths. puffs. Six puffs. And six breaths per puff. Yes. And uh, this. It's a word for the orange one. Okay, look at if that. I can find it, oh, here it goes. And then this is the second orange one. So today, if you have a virus, then buy this. That's but not true. Sometimes we need to test, don't we? Because test. if you, you both of you were in hospital with COVID. Yeah, you test this. Which is not not everybody's experience, but. But you guys, when you when you get a severe virus, you get really sick and you can't breathe. Do you remember? Okay, and today, friends, we're going to talk about in this. So, what's the point of that? What is that? It it helps you to not get viruses inside your mouth. I'll show you how you put it on. So you get it out the bag. Just pick one. Pick one, not two. Those are the adult ones, darling. Oh, there, there's too many. So then you do this, put it on your mouth, and then voila. You can even do it like this, and you're finished. And that protects other people from yeah. your virus. And if you're finished, then you can put it back in the, what is it called again? Oh yeah, mask. So this is called the packet for the mask. Yeah, we don't reuse them, that's the thing, eh? Yeah, so you have to put it in the if you use it again. Yeah. So, Koru, can I just ask you, Yeah. Um, how do you know when you need the inhaler? When I'm, like, coughing non-stop. And I'm, sick. like, and, like, I can feel, like, I can feel it. So, like, when I'm coughing a lot. Mm. What can you feel? What does it feel like? It feels like, like, it goes, like, it feels like, I don't know. It's like... I can't really explain it, but it's like, it's really harsh, and like, I can feel like a big, like, like, I feel like a bomb went inside of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, sometimes you need it in the middle of the night? Yeah. What's that like? Um, like, I, like, I'm waking up, and then I'm having to, like, get the, get the inhaler, which is in, beside my bed, and then I get it, and then go, you know, like, breathe it in, you know, like. And then you feel better again? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night <coughs> with my brother, like, suffering. Like, like, God has, has, has to have the inhaler. So, um, you've both been in hospital mm -hmm. with asthma. Yeah. A few times. Yeah, I even vomited in cup. You did. You did vomit in a cup. Why would you say that? 
Well, sometimes Hi. when the when your breathing is so hard, sometimes it makes you even vomit, doesn't it? Like, yeah, that was it really makes bad. my tummy feel like gooey. Yeah, but it's that's also probably fun. relevant to yeah. you having ketotic so hypoglycemia. Can I talk about myself. So this is inhaler. So you do this, put your mouth on it, and then don't put your mouth. And then like push really hard. Mhm. Mm Sunglass even use one. You finger. want to show us? You show us how, how you do it. Like, can you I shake, shake, it? shake? Remember? Shake, sh so you pull that out, shake it, shake it real hard. Is this new? Yeah. And then put it in. Ooh. Can I just check the label on that? And make sure it's your one first. <laughs> yep, yep, you're good. Okay. Mm. Can I do it? So, so please, me, me. And then you put your mouth on the chair. And then you stop. Okay. And then you do, that's all, no more puffs. Yep. And you just do six breaths. Okay. Did you ever feel like you were really, really sick? Like, yeah, like before, when I like, every time when I spin, I just feel like the world is shaking. Like sometimes I even say, like, illusion or like the world, like, it's an earthquake. I just feel like the house is tipping over. Yeah. And other houses do that, like, earthquake. Yeah, like your saturation can drop really quickly down to high 70s, early 80s. Mm. And that's really bad. It means you don't have enough oxygen in Whoa. your blood. That's why you feel yeah, all loopy. Yeah, sometimes I even go like... Yeah, you do. That's not true. And then I fall down. Okay, but thank God for Ventolin and yeah. also life-saving medications. Can I talk about the sponsor today? Our sponsor? We don't have a sponsor. <laughs> Sponsors made. Um, our YouTube video is made from my mum that holds the phone as the camera. Crew, me, and my dad's away at work, so he's not here today. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to Fal Falcon and Tanisha and Dad. I mean, Crew's world. The end. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.